In the nation's capital, e-hailing drivers have commenced a three-day warning strike. The drivers are demanding an upward review of fares, profiling of riders, increase in their commission, and a solution to the security challenges. TVC News correspondent Jokia Adisa reports. E-hailing services were introduced in Nigeria for ease of movement for passengers. Since 2016, the technology-driven transportation system has proven worthwhile for many of its users. But the drivers are now crying foul. The safest charged by the companies since 2016 have remained unchanged despite rising inflation in the country. This is why they have kicked off a three-day warning strike. There are vehicles that will be taken off the roads for the duration of the industrial action. They share experiences as they gather to sensitize one another on the task ahead. Insecurity and sexual harassment are some of their problems, especially the female drivers. We are tired of carrying Mr. without a name. We are tired of carrying Bush without a name. We are tired of, car we are tired of carrying Cobra, ghosts. These are people I have carried without picture, without names. So we wanted to provide the riders. The leaders say they have written several petitions to their companies to no avail. The security in the app does not favor the drivers. We carry riders who enter our vehicles and steal our cars, kill us, and their records is not found anywhere. Secondly, the rate at which the fare does not conform with the present economic situation of Nigeria. After this strike, we will take another action. But our message is simple, both to both Uber and to our drivers. Our drivers that are not here today, we believe they didn't hear. After today, they will hear. What we are saying is shut down Uber and Boat app for these three days. The introduction of fan taxi is giving the drivers the impetus to fight on. Fan have come up with their own app. And as at last week, fan taxi carry request to Use 275. And that is what we need. How can a driver be using a car? He cannot be able to service your car. With their cars now parked, the e-alien drivers say their apps will remain switched off to press on their demands for increased fares, among others. But more importantly to them is the action that will follow this warning strike. Jokia TVC News, Abuja.